often your design projects are going to consist of components from multiple libraries. And often you may want to extract all of those components from that one project and put them into only one library. But at the same time, you want your project to refer to that one library you just created. And that's what we're going to cover today. Hi, my name is Ed from Autodesk Eagle with another tip. Now, to do this, we're going to be using a ULP that you could find in our download section contributed by one of our users. It's called Export LBR Replace. You'll be able to find it in the download section of our website. Now, if you take a look at this design, I'm going to go ahead and just look at the properties of this one component, and you notice that it comes from the Nordic Miscellaneous. I guess that's the library that the author created. And this component here, the author created a different library, or use a different library called Nordic.nrf. For this example, we want to extract all of this into one library, and we want our design to refer to that one library. To do this, I already downloaded the ULP, so I'm going to go ahead and run the ULP directly to the ULP section of Eagle. And I'm going to go to the export, and here it is, export LBR replace to. I'm going to go ahead and select open. And this option actually comes up by default, create one library with all the parts. Now I'm running this from the schematic because I want the logical components as well as the physical components. If I was to run this only from the board, I would only get the packages. Now, it noticed that some of the libraries actually don't have a package associated to it, so it was not going to actually build a library. I wanted to create all the components, so I'm double-clicking them to change the selection to yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this. It's building the library. I'll bring up the directory, that way you can see what it's building as well. This is the directory that got created, so it created this library. That's a script file that it created to build the library. To create this library, it created that script file. This is my board and my schematic. And it also created a script file, which I'm going to execute now on my schematic. That way, now it's going to refer all the components on my design to this library that I just created. Here's the content of that library that we just got created, as you can see. Packages, devices, as well as symbols. Go ahead and save it. Now I'll go back to my schematic on my board. I'm going to run that script file that I just got created a minute ago. Here's the script file. Click open. You'll see it's executing as it runs there. It already finished. Now if I go to my design and I right click and I go to properties, You'll notice that now it's referring to the brand new library that got created. Not only that, if I select this other component here, that's referring to that same library. So now all my components are referring to one library. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.